Way go. Oh, Top four. Dodgers up three zip. Two, Piazza five, flied seven, out in his first at bat. Joining the Dodgers. And this one that right one back at Carlos Perez, who's got the cat-like reflexes. Another look. Yowza. Let's go to the sixth now. <laughs> Piazza. This time he finds Perez and gets up top of it. The solo shot is 26th of the year. And Piazza would get maybe not a warm ovation, but a little bit of clapping from the fans. Dodgers are 4-1. Top seven, Scott Rudinsky pitching two on. John Olerud and Bullseye into the people. A three-run shot is 18th, tied at four. We go to the 10th, still tied. Jeff Shaw tries to pick off Piazza and plunks him right in the ribs. That's got to hurt. He would stay in the game. Base is bloated. Ray Ordonez, little bouncer to first. Eric Harris tries to force Piazza at home. But Piazza slides in there. He's all over these highlights. Mets up 5-4. Bottom 10. John Franco on. Mark Rudzelanek rounds to third. Edgardo Alfonso's throw low. Gets past Olerud. Rudzelanek goes to second. After a walk, Charles Johnson, Roger Cedeno. The chopper to Alfonso, who can't make the play, so the bases are all filled with Dodgers. After Eric Young pops up, Trinidad Hubbard, the ground ball, Ordonez, and he's steady. The Mets hold on to win this one, a tight one in L.A. 5-4, the final. Piazza's first game back in L.A., he goes two for four. Rowland, who delivers. Down that third base line. Here comes Doug Glanville, Kevin Sefcik, hot behind him, a double for Roland, fills up 2-1. Bottom nine, 3-2 Phillies, Charlie Hayes facing Mark Leiter, drops one down, Bobby Estelea fields it, but no one covers first, everybody safe, still nobody out. Three batters later, bases bloated, one down, Leiter hits Brian Johnson, that brings home the tying run. Leiter can't believe it himself. Top 10, still 3-3, rolling at third. One out for Mark Lewis. And Bill Miller just throws it away. That brings in Roland. The Phillies take the lead, and they're not going to give it back. The win ends their five-game losing streak, and their six-game skid up big time. Expos up 8-1 in the fourth. Greg Vaughn just lost one. Over the palm trees is 44th. Say two Expos. Mark Sweeney would follow with a home run. Later in the fourth, Sweeney up again. Mike Maddox, the wild pitch. Kilvio Vera scores. It's 8-7 Expos. Still in the fourth, Jim Leritz walks. Steve Finley comes home. It's 8-8. Still in the fourth, Shane Bennett now pitching. Carlos Hernandez shoots one through the hole. Two runs come across. And the Padres scored nine runs on six hits in the fourth inning. They go on to win this one by the final of 12 to 8. It's solid behind him. Scott Hatterberg hits one off Hill's glove. Right to Randy Velarde, who flips to Gary DeSarcina, who guns him down for the double play. Watch DeSar. Gets upended and still makes the nice throw. Top seven now, 5 3 Angels. Troy Gloss up with the bases bloated. The shot to Nomar Garcia Parra makes the diving stop and then no, skips it to Mo Vaughn. A couple runs score at 7 3 Angels. In between innings, Garcia Parra, a little frustrated down there. He is nonplussed, very out of character for Nomar. And he doesn't like Gatorade either. Bottom nine, seven, six angels, two out, Red Sox, two on. Troy Percival strikes down Keith Mitchell. It's over. Garcia Parra is still incensed. Percival not happy either. Starts yelling at his pitching coach, Marcel Latchman. It was all good for the angels anyway. Seven to six. Hill back-to-back -back homers by Juan Gonzalez and Will Clark. It's Pudge's turn. Ivan Rodriguez of John Snyder. The first time they've gone back-to-back-to-back in Texas history. Albert Bell facing Rick Helling. Albert leans back. Oh, he smokes one. 400 and change to center. Number 40 for Bell. White Sox down 5-3. Top 10. We're tied at 5. The thrill. Doing it again. Albert back. Leaps. Off Bob Howery, his second homer of the game. 21st of the season as the Rangers win the opener. The oh, yeah. Top of the third. Rangers up 2 on Rusty Greer facing Scott Ayer with two on. The Sox are four and 24 when Ayer pitches. That's not a good thing. Number 13 for Greer. Rangers up 5-1. Bottom eight. White Sox down 7-6. Eric Gunderson feeds Ray Durham. Next stop over that wall. Number 16 for Durham. We're tied at seven. Next batter, Mike Caruso, turns on Gunderson. 
And Caruso sends one over the wall, his fifth of the year. White Sox up 8-7. Texas and Chicago combined for 14 homers in the doubleheader. That ties an AL record set by the Yankees and Philadelphia A's back in 1930. Top nine, Clark That's looking to break the record. Off oh, Howery again. Max it's going, back. going, right the going to be caught track. by Maglio Ordonez. The Rangers yes, he he lose this time around 8-7 the final. Howery gets his first major league save after giving up the homer to Clark in... Look at the success the A's have had against Cleveland. They bat 62 points higher and score two runs more per game than they do against the rest of the AL. Beating the Tribe in six straight. See? Mike Blowers to left. That would be considered a bases loaded double. Two runs score. Then Ricky Henderson singles to left. That made it 10-6 A's. We got a carnival going on here. Ryan Christensen singles 11-6. Next batter Jason Giambi. Bye bye Number 21 for Jambi. Yeah, the A's score eight in the tenth, all off Reed to win it 14-6. They pound first bottom of the third, three nothing. Maddox shown wise the Gold Glover as he robs Ron Gant, who was one for four in the game. Maddox settling down a little bit. Cards have struggled the whole leads, and they did so in this one. Chipper Jones up there. It's three two cards. It's three two cards no longer off the top of the wall. Chipper two for six in the game. Michael Tucker thought it was gone, but it was off the top of the wall. Braves rally for the 4-3 lead. Bottom of the eighth, McGuire, chance to tie it with a homer. Rudy Sinez going after him. Three straight fastballs, and McGuire whiffs at them all. Bottom of the ninth, still 4-3 Braves. Gant. Belting one to left. Ryan Klesko on the run. The beautiful leaping grab. The replay confirms what we already suspected. Klesko made a beautiful leaping grab. Your next batter, Fernando Tatis, off Kerry Leitenberg, and Tatis wins that battle. Just his fourth homer of the year. Just came over from the Rangers. That ties the game at four. Bottom of the tenth now, Dennis Martinez, bases loaded two out. Bobby Cox, folks. Ron Gant up there. And Gant. Ron Gant in the just barely pokes one into left field. Eli Marrero comes home, and the Cardinals pull out the 5-4 to four win. Big Mac didn't gain any ground on Maris, but he did gain some ground on Babe Ruth. His two walks gave him 100 one, two to Sammy. Looking for home run number 53, right and he has found home run number 53 off John Thompson, the pitcher, not the basketball coach. Cubs up 1-0. Meanwhile, in St. Louis, the Cards keeping a close eye on the Maris chase. Right and they update in those games out west. the home run board. Top of the Gaetti second comes up 2 1. Gary Gaetti up there. Dante, Dante Bichette moving back. And another beautiful grab to Rob Gaetti. It was one for five. Tied at two, top of the fifth. And whenever a pitcher gets a hit, we sportscasters are contractually obligated to use the phrase helps his own cause. That's exactly what Traxel did there. Second homer of his career. Cubs up 4 2. Cubs up 7 4 now. Walker, the tying run, and we've got controversy. He doesn't like the call against Heredia, and Walker gets the heave ho. Don Baylor comes out to argue, and he too gets thrown out. Bottom of the ninth, Dante Bichette up there. More controversy. Randy Myers pitch is called the strike. Bichette throwing the equipment in his disgust after he popped out. He gets thrown out. Everyone gets thrown out. Cubs get the 10 to 5 win. Track nine straight coming in. Facing Randy Johnson, top of the third, no score, two men on. Jason Kendall up there against the unit, and Kendall goes down swinging. He was one for four. Strikeout number six for Johnson, top of the fifth. Adrian Brown at the plate. He was three for four. That's the time he didn't get a hit. That was strikeout number nine. Then Kevin Polkovich, who was 0 for four, goes down. Number 10 for Johnson. Top of the eighth now, Turner Ward against Johnson. Grounder to Jeff Bagwell. Bobbles it, but the unit covering, bare hands it, and makes the play. Still Top of the ninth, Jose Guillen goes down looking. Guillen one for four. That's strikeout number 14. Manny Martinez, victim number 15. Freddy Garcia, he goes down. 16 strikeouts for Johnson, a season high. Houston wins a two zip. Johnson picking up his third shutout. Suke wind up. Joe Torre tickling the funny bone. It was a laugher for the Yankees, who went on a hit barrage in this one. First inning, Chuck Knobloch leading off with the double. 
But wait, there's much more. Three batters later, Bernie Williams singles, 1 0 Yanks. Next batter, Chili Davies, who drove in two, it's 3 0 Yanks. Jorge Posada, 4 0 Yanks. Luis Soho, 5 0 Yanks. Chad Curtis, he doubles. Scott Roche is two run homer, trust me. Fourth inning, Derek Jeter doubles. Tim Raines singles up the middle, 9 1 Yanks. Every Yankee starter had a hit by the fourth inning. Bottom of the fifth, Yanks up 10 1, El Duque. Facing Alex Rodriguez. Pitch of this battle. And El Duque gets a rod swinging. One of his eight K's. Alex Rodriguez. Big night for El Duque as the K's just kept on coming. Not quite the 55th there facing the Troy Hawkins. Fletcher lining it to left. Marty Cordova flashing the fine Corinthian leather. Fletcher 0 for 3 in the game. Top of the fifth. Bases loaded for Paul Molitor. And Molitor rips one to left center. Three runs score on the play. Molitor in with his 600th career double. Third player in history to record 3,000 hits, 600 doubles, and 500 stolen bases. Ty Cobb and Honus Wagner, the other two. Bottom of the seventh score, 6-5 in favor of the Twins. Sean Green says not anymore. He didn't literally say it, but he said it with his actions. A two-run shot, second of the game, 28th of the year. Jays up 7-6. They win it by that score. Woody Williams snapping a personal four-game losing streak. Over there. Johnny Damon. Johnny. Deep to right. Does it have enough juice? Yeah, no. Off the top of the scoreboard. But it bounces over Willie Green's head. And then Green would misplay it. Johnny. Going to try it. The throw home. That is in there. Ruled a triple and an error. 5-3 Royals. Bottom seven. Rafael Palmero to deep right. Jermaine die with the nice catch and the grass stain. Bottom nine now. Orioles down 6-5. Bases bloated. Rich Becker to Mendy Lopez. That is a made-to-order 6-43 as the Royals win it 6-5. The Royals turn five double plays to hand the O's their fifth straight loss.